Welcome learners. Today, I shall try to make you understand the evolution of God at heart. Before going into the detailed discussion of the evolution of God at heart, we must know what is heart. Heart is a central pumping organ of the circulatory system. The total flows within the circulatory system. The forces are given by the heart. There are two kinds of circulatory system you must know. Open circulatory system and closed circulatory system. All cordates have closed circulatory system. Therefore, blood requires a huge forces so that blood can flow within the closed circulatory system and this force is given by the heart. The vertebrate heart is biologically specific to a species and is the product of millions years of fine tuning. These things you must remember. The vertebrate heart is biologically specific to a species and is the product of millions of years of fine tuning. The heart is the center of circulatory system whose primary role is to pump blood through the pulmonary and systemic systems of the body. Convergence is the tendency of independent species to evolve similarly when subjected to the same environmental condition. It is the rule of the evolution. The primitive blueprint for the circulatory system emerged around 700 to 600 million years before and exhibits a diverse physiological adaptations across the radiation of the vertebrates, subphylum vertebrata, phylum corda. The structure and function of circulatory system of each individual holds a vital role which benefits each species specifically. Now come to the evolution. The heart has evolved from the early caudate circulatory system with a single layer due in tunicate, subphylum urocordata or an amphioxa subphylum cephalocordata to a vertebrate circulatory system with a two chambered heart made up of one in atrium and one ventricle in nathostomes that means within the species in profilum nathostomata to a system with a three chambered heart made up of two atrium which may be partially divided or completely separated in amphibian tetrapod class amphibia and subsequently other tetrapods including crocodiles and alligators order crocodilia subclass crocodilomorpha class reptilia birds and mammals have complete four chambered heart in case of Agnatha, one heart is incapable to give forces for the circulation of total blood. In case of Agnatha, there are four hearts, caudal heart, systemic heart, cardinal heart and portal heart. These four hearts helps to circulation of blood in different portions of the body. Vertebrates are distinguished by the multi-chambered heart and a closed vascular system with capillary lined with endothelial cells. The tunicates and amphioxa species possess tubular hearts that contracts peristaltically, that is chronological pulsation from one end to the other end of the tube. Living agnathans have a four heart like portal heart, cardinal heart, systemic heart and caudal heart. Caudal heart pumps blood from the trunk and kidney. Systemic heart pumps blood from the ventral aorta to the gill. Cardinal heart pumps blood from the head to the body and portal heart pumps blood from the intestine to the liver. Due to the oxygen deficiency and high metabolic cost obtaining oxygen from the water, vertebrates are forced to make their way of the ocean and on the land 350 to 400 million years before. This transition gave a heart a more complex role in terms of blood conviction and gas transport. The heart of lungfish is highly specialized in order to preserve separation of oxygenated and deoxygenated blood through its body cavity. Generally, bony fish have a two-chambered heart 
one atrium and one ventricle. However, these are subdivided into linear series of total four different compartments like sinus venosus, atrium, ventricle, and conus arteriosus. MPV are showed many similarities in heart structure with lung fissures. In more primitive amphibians such as lungless salamander, for example, family Plethodontidae, order Caudata, the atrium is partially separated. However, in frogs and toads, order Aneura, the atrium is completely separated, resulting in the evolution of a three chambered heart, two atria, one ventricle. The single ventricle is made up trabeculated myocardium. Remember this thing the trabeculated myocardium with internal ridges. So, this is the schematic representation of the evolution of heart from A is the feces, B A is teleostean feces, C amphibia, D reptilia, E avis and F mammalia. C in case of mammalia there are four chamber, two ventricle, two article. In case of crocodilia, similarity is there, two ventricle and two auricle. In case of other reptilia, ventricle is not completely separated, there is a aperture that by means of that blood is mixes up and that aperture is known as foramen panija. So, it is the distinguishing feature of the structure of heart between crocodilia and other reptiles. That means in case of crocodilia, the heart is completely four chambered. In other reptilia, heart is not completely four chambered, ventricle is incompletely separated. And this is uh, the way of circulation. In case of feces, there are two modes of circulation. One is uh, arterial circulation, other is venous circulation because here are two chambered heart arranged chronologically. This is the frog, second one is the frog's heart structure, three chambered circulation and last one is the mammalian circulation. This is another schematic representation of the evolution of heart structure from fish to mammals. See, in case of fish, one tube is bended and formed two chambered heart. In case of amphibia, this three chambered heart, two auricles and one ventricle. In case of reptiles, other than crocodilia, there are incomplete four chambered heart, two incompletely divided ventricle and two completely divided auricle. In birds and mammals, there are four chambered heart.